Okay, children, this morning I asked you to draw a picture of your mummy or your daddy's favourite toy when they were your age. So who wants to show me their picture first? Let me see. Lucy! Mm -mm, my my, my mummy's favourite toy was a cabbage patch kid doll thing and, and that's what I drew. I used to have a Cabbage Patch doll, Lucy, and what a wonderful picture that is. Well done. Who's going to go next for me? Michael. I draw a wrestler because my daddy's favourite toy in the whole world was a wrestler. Wow, that's a strong wrestler. Well done. Who's next? Jimmy. Oh, I need to finish, need to finish, need to done. Uh, this is, this is my, my mommy's favourite toy. Oh my God, that's hard. Um, uh. I, 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 I found it one time in her drawer and she said, no, Jimmy, you, you not play with that. That's mommy's toy only, which I think is really mean. Okay, everybody open your books to page four. I'm just going to the office. Jimmy, I'm going to ring your mommy, okay? Okay, teacher, okay. I bet she, I bet she have a rabbit too and she going for my mommy and see if they won't play together. We are going to be learning all about religion and the differences between different religions. We are Catholics and this is a Catholic school. Does anybody else know any other religions? My daddy is a Catholic and my mommy is a prostitute. <coughs> Jimmy, it's actually pronounced Protestant. No teacher, it is prostitute. I even hear my granny say one thing that my daddy should never have ever ever married that prostitute because they couldn't get married on chapel or something. My mommy says she likes being prostitute because she doesn't have to look silly like my daddy because he always has to be on his knees and then the man in the dress has to put a piece of his body in my daddy's mouth. Oh, that's disgusting! Yeah, and my daddy said that prostitutes are just jealous when they don't have something in their mouth. Um, that is the Eucharist and he was receiving the body of Christ and we're going to learn all about that today. Does that mean that we have to eat a body when we get older? Not if you become a prostitute like my mommy. I'm not putting anybody's body part in my mouth. Teacher, I don't want to be a Catholic anymore. I want to be a prostitute. Yeah, we all be prostitutes. My mommy going to be so happy that we all won't be prostitutes like her. Open your books to page 10 and... Just going to ring your mommy, Jimmy, and everybody else's mommy. Hey, children, so June is Pride Month, which celebrates our fantastic LGBTQ community. I think you got the alphabet wrong. No, Jimmy, LGBTQ, it's on the board, means lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or queer, or questioning. What? Is a lesbian? A lesbian, Grace, is a woman, a female, who likes other women. Well then, you must be lesbian because you like my mommy because I know because you phone her all the time. Jimmy, by like, I mean like be your girlfriend, be in a relationship with her. Well, you better stop phoning my mommy then because she is married to my daddy. Believe me, son, if I could stop ringing your mother, I would. Jason. What does a gay? Gay is a man who likes another man, wants to be in a relationship with him, and it can also be used to describe lesbians. My daddy is not gay because he likes looking at pictures of women on his pewter and they have no clothes. They must have been freezing. There's such a medic. I know. I asked him who they were and he said they are his friends so he sends them money for clothes. That's so sad. Yeah. I'm not allowed to tell my mommy though because he said then she will want new clothes and she already has too many. What does a bisexual? Bisexuals like being in relationships with both males and females and other genders which we're going to learn about today. I think my mommy might be bisexual. I heard her say to my auntie one time that she should have married a woman because my daddy doesn't know how to lick the cat. I think I'm having a stroke. Yeah, you would get a furball if you whipped the cat. What does lick the cat mean? That's enough, settle down, Jimmy, that's enough. No, it wasn't like the cat, it was like the... That's enough, Jimmy. Tiger, no, like the... Okay, Jimmy, that's enough. Like the lion? No. Oh, I got it, it's like the... Jimmy, that's enough! Open your books, page seven, Jimmy, um... Ring my mommy, I know, I know. See? See a leopardin? I've noticed that a few of you wee rascals have brought on a gift for me. Mama. 
you really, really didn't need to. Teaching is a gift. But who wants to bring theirs up first? I got you some flowers. Grace, these are so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, darling. My mommy got you a cup. Thank you, Jason. It says, work best teacher. Ah, oh, thank you, Jason. Oh, me next, me next. Yes, Jimmy. So, my mommy bought you a candle, but I don't think you would want the candle, so I gave it to the lollipop man, and I brought you in my own present. Okay. So, the first present, you won't close your eyes. No, I fell for that once, Jimmy. I'm not doing it again. That's okay. The first present is wine because my mom said that it makes her relax and it makes her happy and sometimes it makes her sing ODB songs. Who is ODB? Oh, it's all dirty bad. Ba, 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 Jimmy, that's enough, that's enough. The next bit, you sure you won't close your eyes? I'm all good, Jimmy. I need to be able to see what I'm putting in the report for the principal. Okay, um, the next present is for your moustache. They are stickers. You may need three or four stickers. Will do, Jimmy. You fucking dick. The next present is for your dry bangina. Oh, there's a pube. <coughs> what is a dry bangina? I, I don't know. I think it's a plant. I think it's that pasta stuff that my mommy makes for dinner. A very dry. Maybe it's a Pokemon. Great presents, everybody. Thank you so, so much. Next present is for when you want to do dress up. I think, I think it's like a gear black panther cushion. My mommy used to have a whip. I couldn't find it anywhere. What in the 50 shades of grey? Your last present is vitamins. My daddy takes these vitamins. I think they are called Niagara. He said that they make you very strong and that they make my mommy happy for more than three minutes. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, children. Thank you for your wonderful, lovely presents, Jimmy. I am just going to ring your mommy and I will probably not be back this afternoon. But thank you. I've noticed that a few of you wee rascals have brought on a gift for me. Mama. You really, really didn't need to. Teaching is a gift. But who wants to bring theirs up first? I got you some flowers. Grace, these are so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, darling. My mommy got you a cup. Thank you, Jason. It says, work best teacher. Ah, oh, thank you, Jason. Oh, me next, me next. Yes, Jimmy. So my mommy bought you a candle, but I don't think you would want the candle, so I gave it to the lollipop man, and I brought you in my own present. Okay. So the first present, you won't close your eyes. No, I fell for that once, Jimmy. I'm not doing it again. That's okay. The first present is wine, because my mommy said that it makes her relax, and it makes her happy, and sometimes it makes her sing ODB songs. Oh, it's all dirty bad. Ba, 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 Jimmy, that's enough, that's enough. The next bit, you sure you won't close your eyes? I'm all good, Jimmy. I need to be able to see what I'm putting in the report for the principal. Okay, um, the next present is for your moustache. They are stickers. You may need three or four stickers. Will do, Jimmy. You fucking dick. The next present is for your dry bangina. Oh, there's a pube. <coughs> what is a dry bangina? I, I don't know. I think it's a plant. I think it's that pasta stuff that my mommy makes for dinner. A very dry. Maybe it's a Pokemon. Great presents, everybody. Thank you so, so much. Next present is for when you want to do dress up. I think, I think it's like a gear black panther cushion. My mommy used to have a whip. I couldn't find it anywhere. What in the 50 shades of grey? Your last present is vitamins. My daddy takes these vitamins. I think they are called Niagara. He said that they make you very strong and that they make my mommy happy for more than three minutes. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, children. Thank you for your wonderful, lovely presents, Jimmy. I am just going to ring your mommy and I will probably not be back 
this afternoon, but thank you. Almost time for summer break. Are any of you going anywhere nice on your summer holidays? Grace? We are going to see my granny in the countryside. Oh, that sounds absolutely wonderful, Grace. I hope you have the best time. Jason? My mommy said that we are going to Costa del Back Garden. I think we are going to some place called Costa Living. I don't know where that is. I think they are in Spain. They must be beside each other. Um, I think your mommy... I hope they're at the pool. Me too! Your mommy was probably talking about inflation and how the price of everything these days is so expensive. Yeah, my mommy talks about that all the time. Like this morning I heard her telling my auntie on the phone that she is going to have to start riding my daddy because of the price of batteries. They are really expensive. Riding like a pony. Yeah, I think so. But my mommy is very fat so my daddy's going to have very sore back. Okay, children, settle down. Jimmy, turn around, please. Jimmy, turn around. Thank you. Today, children, we're going to be learning all about the five main food groups. I know what these are. My mommy is in a food group. No, she is not, Jimmy. Humans aren't in the food group. But teacher, you said that when we make our first communion, we have to eat the body of Christ. Jason, for the last time, it's not an actual human body. It's the Eucharist. No, 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 my mommy really is I'm a food group teacher. She goes to this place and meets these people every week and they all talk about how they can't stop eating. And there's some things on the way home my mommy gets a McDonald's and I like that because I get a Happy Meal with a toy. That's not a food group, Jimmy. That's a weight loss group. How come she hasn't lost any weight and she still has a squidgy tummy and three chumps? Um... Jimmy, your mommy should go on holidays with my mommy and her friends because when they went on holidays and my mommy came back, she lost her squidgy tummy and she lost all her chumps. My mommy says that when she goes on holidays, she eats too much and my daddy says she drinks too much wine as well. Jimmy, that is private information. We've talked about this. Okay, let's move on. Okay, the first food group. Well, on my mommy's holidays with her friends, they got something called a gas stick band. Jenny, that is also private information that I don't think your mommy would like you sharing. So let's move on. The first food. Kind of like magic and she lost all of her stones. Well, I lost my favorite stone one time and then I went to the toilet and I pulled out my pants and it was in my pants. <laughs> that is why I put all my stones in my pa- My pocket. I lost my stones! Wait a minute, Jason. Did you get a gas stick band? Okay, that's enough. Can we move on, please? And well, one time she went away on holidays with her friends and she got a designer for Gina. <coughs> um. <coughs> what does that mean? I don't know, that's why I want to ask a teacher what is a designer for Gina. Can we move on please? The first food group. That's a handbag. My mommy got a fancy handbag one time on holidays and then when we get home the handle fell off. Oh Gina, I hope. The handle doesn't fall off your mommy's designer Virginia. Me too. Okay, that's enough. That is enough. Turn to the board. Let's see what the first food group is. And it is vagina vegetables. Okay, children. So at the weekend, I asked you all to keep your eyes peeled for something that you think is a sign that autumn is on its way and summer is ending. Now, I asked you all to bring that item in, so who wants to go first? Grace. I brought a nut and some berries that fell off the tree. Wonderful example, Grace, of how we are now coming into the autumn and the leaves and nuts and berries are all falling off the trees. Who's next there? Jenny. I brought in my mommy's stringy pants because she says when summer's over, she likes to wear cozy pants. And she don't make the stringy ones anymore. You won't feel them. Thank you, Jenny. If you just want to um, pop those back in your bag and don't take them out today at all. Again. Okay. okay. These berries now. You're kind of right. We do wear warmer clothes coming in to the autumn. I forgot, teacher. What, what about that leaf in your hand, Jason? Oh, no. This is my friend, Steve. 
Steve the Leaf, Jimmy Soul come to me. Jimmy, we talked about this last year when you were caught selling imaginary friends to everybody in the playground. Remember? I miss my imaginary friend. My ran away after 10 months and didn't come back. That's because you kept trying to hug him, Jason. We'll talk about it later when your mommy's coming in, okay? But, 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 teacher, these friends are real. Like, this is Keith. He's my best friend in the whole world. What did you bring in, Jimmy, as a sign that summer is nearly over? Well, 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 I brought on my mommy's razor. Of course she did. Because she says she's so glad it's not summer anymore because she hates fucking shaving her legs. Oh. Jimmy, we've talked about this language. Whenever you're repeating something that somebody else has said, you don't use the curse words, okay? You blank them out. I'm sorry. She hates her legs all the time. And then she said, what's the point anyway? Because my daddy don't take her anywhere. Does you not like shaving in the autumn time too, teacher? Wait a minute, is that what you brought in the school to show us that summer is over? What? What do you mean, Jimmy? That! What? What do you mean? What? Your moustache! Open your books at page four! Hey children, today we are going to pick up with our scrapbooks again and last night I asked you to go home and find out an interesting fact about your grandparents. So, who wants to go first? Jenny. My granddad was in the army and my granny won a singing competition. Wonderful facts, Jenny. Very interesting. Thank you. Who's next? Jason. My granny worked in a shit factory for 40 years. A shirt factory? Yeah, that's what I said. A shit factory. And my granddad was a vegetarian. A vegetarian. Yeah, that's what I said. Very interesting, Jason. Thank you. Who's next? Ginny. My granddad whipped my granny for a witch. And they have more babies. And my mommy calls him a blaster. Okay, okay. Who's next? A real witch. Yeah, and my mommy said she like an evil stepmother or something. Wait, is your mommy Cinderella? No, I don't think so because my mommy never ever comes in before midnight, but she does lose a lot of her shoes sometimes. Okay, moving on there. Who's next? My granny has a new dick. Who else has got an interesting fact? A what? What is a dick? Everybody open your scrapbooks. It is a boyfriend. She used to have a younger dick, but now she has an older dick and he is grey and wrinkly and he smells like green. Pringles. My mommy has loads of dicks. I'm not going to be anybody's dick because boys are the best and girls are the worst. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think I want a dick. I can be a dick anytime I want. Well, that is really good. <clears throat> Jenny, can I be your dick? Yeah. That's enough, Jimmy. Jenny, I'm going to have to call your parents in this afternoon, okay? Everybody, open your scrapbooks. Hey, children. So at the weekend, I asked you all to keep your eyes peeled for something that you think is a sign that autumn is on its way and summer is ending. Now, I asked you all to bring that item in. So who wants to go first? Grace. I brought in a nut and some berries that fell off the tree. Wonderful example, Grace, of how we are now coming into the autumn and the leaves and nuts and berries are all falling off the trees. Who's next there? Jenny. I brought in my mommy's stringy pants because she says when summer's over she likes to wear cozy pants and she don't like the stringy ones anymore. You won't feel them. Thank you, Jenny. If you just want to um pop those back in your bag and don't take them out today at all. Again, okay. Very stringy. You're kind of right. We do wear warmer clothes coming in to the autumn. I forgot, teacher. What, what about that leaf in your hand, Jason? Oh no, this is my friend Steve. Steve the leaf. Jimmy sold come to me. Jimmy, we talked about this last year when you were caught selling imaginary friends to everybody in the playground. Remember? I miss my imaginary friend. My ran away after 10 months and didn't come back. That's because you kept trying to hug him, Jason.
We'll talk about it later when your mommy's coming in, okay? But, 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 teacher, these flames are real. Like, this is Keefe. He's my best friend in the whole world. What did you bring in, Jimmy, as a sign that summer is nearly over? Well, 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 I brought on my mommy's razor. Of course you did. Because she says she's so glad it's not summer anymore because she hates fucking shaving her legs. Oh. Jimmy, we've talked about this language. Whenever you're repeating something that somebody else has said, you don't use the curse words, okay? You blank them out. I'm sorry. She hates mm, her legs all the time. And then she said, what's the point anyway? Because my daddy don't take her anywhere. Does you not like shaving on the autumn time too, teacher? Wait a minute, is that what you brought in to school to show us that summer is over? What? What do you mean, Jimmy? That! What? What do you mean? What? Your moustache! Open your books at page four! Hey children, today we are going to pick up with our scrapbooks again and last night I asked you to go home and find out an interesting fact about your grandparents. So, who wants to go first? Jenny. My granddad was in the army and my granny won a singing competition. Wonderful facts, Jenny. Very interesting, thank you. Who's next? Jason. My granny worked in a shit factory for 40 years. A shirt factory? Yeah, that's what I said, a shit factory. And my granddad was a vegetarian. A vegetarian. Yeah, that's what I said. Very interesting, Jason. Thank you. Who's next? Ginny. My granddad whipped my granny for a witch. And they have more babies. And my mommy calls him a blaster. Okay, okay. Who's next? A real witch. Yeah, and my mommy said she's like an evil stepmother or something. Wait, is your mommy Cinderella? No, I don't think so because my mommy never ever comes in before midnight, but she does lose a lot of her shoes sometimes. Okay, moving on there. Who's next? My granny has a new dick. Who else has got an interesting fact? A what? What is a dick? Everybody open your scrapbooks. It is a boyfriend. She used to have a younger dick, but now she has an older dick and he is grey and wrinkly and he smells like green. Pringles. My mommy has loads of dicks. I'm not going to be anybody's dick because boys are the best and girls are the worst. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think I want a dick. I can be a dick anytime I want. Well, that is really good. <clears throat> Jenny, can I be your dick? Yeah. That's enough, Jimmy. Jimmy, I'm going to have to call your parents in this afternoon, okay? Everybody, open your scrapbooks. Halloween can be a scary time, but it's good to talk about what scares you so you can face your fears. Does anybody want to tell me what they're scared of? I am scared of clowns. I never liked clowns when I was your age either, Grace. I am afraid of the Kardashians. The Kardashians? They're like an army of people who never look the same. I suppose when you put it like that. I am afraid of broccoli. Broccoli! And beans too. Beans are so creepy. Suppose beans can be a wee bit creepy, Jason. Well, I ain't scared of nothing. Nothing. Jimmy, you're not scared of anything at all. Yeah, you have to be scared of something, Jimmy. Mm -mm, nope, nothing. It's okay to admit what you're scared of, Jimmy. Even adults get scared. Yeah, that's true, because my daddy is really scared of my mommy when she has her periods. What are periods? Well, it's this thing that happens to women once a month. They get sore tummy and they eat a lot and they cry and they get angry and then they eat more. My mommy must have her periods all the time then. Okay, that's enough, children. Oh, and they poo a lot. My mommy calls them the period poos and they stink. Well, one time my mama did a poo that was so massive, so we had to call a plumber. Whoa, that must have been a massive poo. <sighs> I know. Yeah. My mommy farts all the time, too, really stinky farts. My mommy farts sometimes, but never in front of my daddy. My mommy blames me for her farts all the time. My mommy does that as well. Okay, that's enough, children, that's enough, okay? Is she scared of anything, teacher? 
Do you know what I'm scared of, Jimmy? I'm scared of having children that go into school and tell your deepest, darkest secrets to the teacher and the entire class. That's what I'm scared of. Oh, well, you don't need to be scared of anything because my mommy says you look like the woman who will never get married and never have children and just live alone with loads of cats. Open your books on page four. Do you not like cats? Jimmy, open your book at page four. Okay. She mostly likes cats. Tell me, children, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? I like the presents. I like the decorations. And the elf and the shelf. I don't think my elf's going to come back this year. Mm, is that because you think you were maybe a wee bit too naughty last year, Jimmy? No, it's because last year I hear my mommy say that she is glad that he is gone and he can stay in the fucking North Pole. And if she has to ever see him ever again, she's going to break his two bastard and wee leg. Oh. She is just angry sometimes, but my daddy said that he thinks it is early mango paws. What is mango paws? I think... Jimmy, don't even try and explain it. I think it is when women want to pause all the men in the world, like pause. That's actually an okay explanation, Jimmy. <laughs> so like, so like a man could be walking past and your mommy just look at him and then he goes, oh. Yeah. Wait, then maybe that's why I don't have a daddy, because my mommy has mango paws as well and she paused at him. Jenny, your daddy could be in the world somewhere, just like, what? Maybe your daddy is one of the statues in the town. Women can't turn men into statues. <laughs> I'm going to go up the town and see if my daddy is a statue. Maybe she froze at him? Wait, no. Can all girls mango paws off? Paws. It's not, it's not working. I don't want to pause people, teacher. Jenny, calm down, it's okay. Maybe you have to be an old lady like the teacher. No, I don't have men go pause. Men will pause. It's called men will pause. Jimmy, what sort the teacher might do men go pause on you? Pause. Open your books or I will pause you. How about that? Today, children, we are auditioning for our upcoming nativity play. So I want you all to stand up and sing a couple of lines from your favourite song. I can't remember any songs. Grace, what about a song that you like listening to in the car with your mommy? Me? Okay. That was beautiful, Grace. Beautiful. Jason. Jimmy, wait your turn, Jason. Your cat, cause your cat full of stars. And well, that's the I wanna give you my stars. Well done, Jason. I love a bit of cool play as well. Jenny. Jimmy. <clears throat> if you have girl problems up your back, you suck. I got nine and nine problems, but it'd be... Pick another one, Jimmy. When the pimp's in the tree, I'm not dropping like a car. No, no, no. Pick another one. <laughs> okay. Nine, 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 nine. It's the... No, not that one, not that one. Pick another one, please, Jimmy. You can do it, put your back, you do it. I can do it, put your... Uh, Jimmy, no songs with curse words, okay? Pick another one. I don't know what you heard about me. But if they can't get it all out of me. Absolutely not that one. Pick another song, Jimmy. So it is the name of the No, no, not that one either. Not that one either. Pick another song, Jimmy. Okay, I got one, I got one, I got one. She take my money when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Okay, well done, Jimmy. Okay, everyone, open your books now, page four. He's a very cool singer, Jimmy. Thanks. You know Walter songs, Jimmy? Yeah, I think she's gonna give me the part of Jofus. Jimmy, page four. <laughs> I think you mean page four, Jofus. <laughs> Definitely not Joseph. <laughs> she gonna make me Jofus. <laughs> And that's the story of the nativity. Are there any questions, children? Who was Ryan John Burton? What? In the song Silent Night, they sang about Ryan John Burton. <laughs> Who? Did they call him Ryan because he was fat? Oh, 
round young virgin. It means around the young virgin mother and her child. What does virgin mean? Um, well, usually, you see, it usually takes a mummy and a daddy to make a baby, but this time was special because it was Mary on her own that made the baby for magic that God sent to the angel and she gave it to Mary. Wait, so Joseph wasn't Jesus' daddy? Well, he was his stepdaddy. So did Jesus have to go to God's house at the weekends? Um... He probably has to bring two Father's Day cards too. Yeah, probably. Who pulled the baby out of Mary's butt? What? No. I thought babies came out of the belly button. Oh, God, what? Yeah. The baby doesn't come out of the butt, Jenny. The baby comes out of the vagina. Isn't that right, teacher? Well, um, <laughs> well, yeah. is that the bell? <laughs> so did they give round young bird in the baby too? Is that why he was fat? Are you a virgin teacher? No, I mean, I mean, I mean, yes, what? Um, <laughs> you are a wee bit round like John. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you could phone God and ask him to send a magic baby to your tummy because you don't have a boyfriend. You probably never have one. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay, I suggest you ask any more questions when you're at home with your mummy and daddy. Grab your crayons. Virgins are cranky. <laughs> yeah. Shakes. Come on, come on. Big smiles. Remember, not to the end. Grace, remember your tissues. I dropped the Frankenstein out of my hat. It's okay, just keep going on. Daddy, mommy! So glad you did! Mommy! <laughs> children, has everybody decided what they're asking Santa for Christmas? I've asked for a real fairy and a unicorn squishmallow. Oh, I used to love fairies when I was your age too, Grace. Jason? I am asking for some Avengers toys, a Nerf gun and a can of Coke. A can of Coke? Because my mommy doesn't let me drink Coke, but I think Santa might bring me some. Okay, Ginny? I asked for some lipstick and a phone. Wow, a phone. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy. I'm asking for ultra rare, super duper special Pokemon cards, loads of Pokemon toys, and a wooden walking stick. <laughs> Why a wooden walking stick? Oh, it's for my daddy. I heard my mommy on the phone tell her friend that my daddy is lumpetent. Sweet Jesus. What does lumpetent mean? I think it is when you have a lump. I heard her say that his stick wasn't working and that he couldn't get wood or something. Yeah, because if it's wooden, it'll help to hold the stick up. St remember our consonant works. Stick. Oh, my granddad broke his stick once. He got it stuck in the bus doors. That's so sad. I broke my sister's stick one time. Stick, Jason. <laughs> well, I really hope that Santa brings my daddy a nice stick. Okay, that's enough, children. That's enough. It's time for our weekly spelling test. And don't worry, it's not hard. <laughs> My mommy said to you about my daddy's sex, she said it's not hard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Teacher! Yes, Jimmy? How do we get money without our mommy and daddy knowing? Money for what, Jimmy? Oh, I need to buy my daddy noculars for Christmas so he can find the Quatoris. Yeah, what is a Quatoris? Oh, I think it's a Pokemon. Cool, what kind of Pokemon? Oh, I think it is a glass type because I hear my mommy on the phone to her friend and she said that my daddy can never fucking find the quarters, not even when the grass is cut and even if she gave him a map and then they both laughed and I thought this was very mean. Jimmy, maybe you should just be honest and tell your mommy what you heard her say on the phone. How about that? Why don't you buy him a pair of glasses? 
He already has glasses. Yeah, because that's why I find ants in my grass. I have my glasses on and my knuckles. Yeah, and it will be a surprise. And once he finds his quarters, he can take it to my granny's house on Christmas Day and show everybody. Okay, open your rugs to page eight. Very happy, be very happy. Yeah, I want my dad had a quarters and then we could battle online. Okay, cut it! I'm quick. I'm quit it! That's a, open your books to page eight.